now to the breaking news on those mail bombs causing a scare across the country. Let's welcome in Louisiana Senator John Kennedy uh, here to our New York studios. Great to have you here. Nice we to always be here, have Sandy. you on that remote camera. It's good to have yeah. you right in front of us, Senator. But what a couple days this has been. I yeah. shouldn't even say a couple days. 24 hours ago, this all began. What have been your thoughts as we now learn, according to the AP, that they are confirming that this is another one of these suspicious packages? It was mailed to Joe Biden. Um, it was discovered at this Delaware postal facility. But another one, Senator. Well, I think, I think Senator, the responsible thing to say for leadership is, you know, it's how I feel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened to the Clintons and the Obamas and, and Mr. Soros and CNN and now apparently Vice President Biden. Uh, I'm sorry for America. We're, uh, we, we, we shouldn't have to go through this. Uh, the, the FBI is the, the premier law enforcement agency in all of human history. They'll catch this person. Uh, maybe someone who's mentally ill, maybe somebody who's not mentally ill, but is just a whack job. I don't know. It's too early to assess blame. I know there's been our, our political rhetoric in this country uh, has been hot on both sides, on both sides. Uh, has that contributed to it? I don't think it's helped. Um, probably we all ought to dial it down a notch. You know, you, you, to be, when you're civil, it doesn't mean you agree with your colleagues. It means you respect them. And uh, uh, I'm just sorry this happened. There's not much else you can say, but, but I, do, I do know we'll, we'll catch this person. What do you think of the former CIA director, John Brennan, for example, placing blame on the president? Well, I listened to Mr. Brennan's uh, interview. Um, if you're going to place blame, on the political climate in this country, in my judgment, there's enough blame to go around. Uh, does President Trump use hot political rhetoric? Yes. Um, but so does, uh, I remember, what, a month ago, Secretary Clinton, which is her right, said we shouldn't be civil to uh, the Republican Party. Um, I can remember a famous comedian going on television holding uh, the uh, fake severed head of President Trump. Uh, I've heard uh, some of my colleagues on Capitol Hill say when you see a, uh, a Republican in a restaurant harassing or her. And all this happening um, after Mitch McConnell and his wife were... Yeah, yeah, but but I, I don't want to... I mean, I don't believe in this tit for tat. The rhetoric in our country is hot. All sides are responsible for it. Even under the best of circumstances, we ought to bring it down. And we still don't know the motive of the yeah, person. We, we don't know the motive. I mean, it, it may well these. be some total whack job. Um, it, it could be somebody who is, though, just angry at, at, uh, at the opponents of the president. Because that's we, not right. Because we are just getting this in here, I do want to get to uh, this quick clip of Jeff Sessions. He yeah. uh, spoke just a few moments ago at the National Opioid Summit at the DOJ, and he made some comments on, on the news. Listen. Across the administration, we condemn the actions that led uh, to uh, these, ac these activities and the strongest possible term, uh, terms and are determined to make sure that we get to the bottom of it and justice is done. I want to get your quick response to that. We'll, we'll find this person. Um, FBI, best law enforcement agency in all of human history. We'll find this person. Until then, it's all speculation. Senator Kennedy from the great state of Louisiana, it's great to have you in the Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers.